Hey YouTube, it's Go from the Friday Night Shooters, and in today's video I want to talk to you about navigating, navigating in Rust and maps in Rust. Uh, one of the most difficult things when you first join into the game is finding your way around, or more to the point, knowing exactly where you are. Um, now, this video may not be relevant to people who've played a lot of Rust and probably know the map inside out at this stage. It's probably going to be more helpful to those people who are pretty new to the game and finding the map uh, the, the map that the game is played on a little bit confusing so uh, I'll get straight into it basically when you spawn you've got your rock you've got your torch you've got a couple of bandages and that's about it and it could be day it could be night you you just won't know where you are on the map unless you unless you've been there before um, so I, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about how I navigate the map and hopefully it'll be helpful to, to some of you. Uh, may not be, but hopefully it will. Uh, so what I use to navigate the map, a couple of things. Um, first, I, you, I, I've had a quick look at the map that's available on the Play Rust uh, wiki. Uh, I'll link it in the description of the video. It's a very good map that shows you the basic structure of the road. The road is sort of, it's not a figure of eight shape. It's like a figure of eight where the middle sections don't meet so it's more like an hourglass shape which means that when you spawn in with a friend or if you're trying to find a friend the whole thing of oh go clockwise or go anti-clockwise until you meet somebody on the road doesn't always work depending on what curve you're on because you might feel like you're going clockwise but you're actually on a section of the road that's kind of inverted if that makes any sense it'll make more sense when if you if you actually look at the map uh, hopefully i'll be able to add it to the video as well um now uh so Yes, you need to know the shape of the road, because the road is the main uh, feature to navigate with. You also have the buildings to navigate with, you have the sun itself, and you have natural features. Now, natural features don't really work that well. You'll uh, see a lot of chat in the text boxes of different Rust servers of people saying things like, uh, Hey, where are you? Uh, I'm, I'm, near, I'm near a mountain, I can see a mountain, I can see some trees, I can see, oh, I got rocks, yeah, grass, uh, oh, I can, I can see the sea. And basically, that's pretty much what everyone can see, apart from maybe the sea, at every point in the map. So it's it's useless. Um, now, uh, what I have done to navigate is basically I've gotten to know the buildings very, very well. So I, I, I'll try and edit this video to show you as many of the different buildings as possible. So I use the Play Rust Wiki map uh, to kind of get general bearings. And then I, I kind of, I don't memorize, but I just get used to what, order the buildings uh, appear if, if I walk around the road in either of the two directions I can possibly walk around it in. So by getting to know uh, uh, the buildings, I know where I am. No matter where I spawn on the map, within about 60 seconds, maybe a little bit longer, I can get to a building or a feature on the map that I recognize usually. Um, so uh, there are names. The community has started to give names to some of the buildings. Uh, one of them is called Radtown. One of them is called... Uh, or has started to be called Heisenberg's Factory. Uh, a nice re reference there to Breaking Bad and uh, Walter White. Uh, so I don't, I don't pay that much attention to the names because, because I play solo and I haven't been kind of meeting with other people. But if you need to meet someone, you need to have a common name, and you may as well use the names that the community are already using. I, however, just remember them by the shape and the size. So if you're playing solo, it's not that important to know the names, uh, but it is important to uh, know the location. Uh, so. Uh, the sun also. I can I can always tell if the sun is setting or if the sun is rising because they do obviously opposite sides of the map, east and west, rise in the east, sets in the west. So that can help uh, a little bit as well. And some features, the main feature I use of natural features is the big, big, big mountain set to the north of the map. Uh, you can see it from a lot of places on the map and that can also get you a bearing as well. Um, so it's it's good also to place your your house your your wherever you build your uh, not your first shelter but your natural house to build it somewhere within spitting distance of a feature you can find easily but don't build it too close to the road uh, as I said in other videos don't build it too close to um, uh, don't build it too close to buildings and uh, not just because of the radiation and the zombies but because of um, other other players will find you easily because they will be using the road to navigate they will use the buildings to navigate so just a quick recap then when you first spawn you may not know where you are use the road use the buildings and use 
the uh, Play Rust Wiki map, um, or just Google Rust map and uh, Google Images, you'll get uh, plenty of versions of the map. Uh, be careful, there are some older versions. Um, it, make sure you're using the current map. Uh, get familiar. Do a couple of laps of the road in your first few days, so that so that you get familiar with the buildings that appear when, where, and when. Um, and yeah, use uh, any natural features, but they have to be pretty big. Use the sun where you can. And yeah, that's how that's how I navigate. There's there's I don't think there's plans for a map. I don't think Gary is planning to use a map at all yet. Um also if you have any other suggestions for navigating, uh please drop it in the comments. And then you really I suppose I must add you really do need to get out of the habit also of using the road as your only form of navigation. Uh I, I know now that the bits where I can skip right across the map from one road uh to the other side of the map to another part of the road for speed and uh, because you don't want to follow the road the whole time but it's good for getting your bearings in the beginning and um, if anyone else uses any cool ways to navigate uh let me know i'd like to know because nav navigating can be a bit of a, a problem in the game uh, if you've watched this video so uh to the end thanks very much really really appreciate it uh, i'm still really enjoying the game uh, i'll keep making videos while i'm still enjoying the game um yeah leave, leave, leave a comment uh, tell me what you think uh thanks very much for watching uh, i've been good for the friday night shooters take care guys